This is a game I'm going to show you guys here. It is World War II Battle Tanks T-34 vs. Tiger. This looks like it's a Russian made game. Um, this is probably what I would consider to be one of the best tank simulators made um, to this day. And I don't I haven't played the um, whatever that uh, tank game is out there that's really popular right now. Um, this one you can only command and control a Tiger or a T-34. It's supposed to be on the, the Russian side or the German side. Um, but uh, the detail in this game is amazing. It is an older game. I don't remember. In 2007 to 2008 is what the date is on the back. So if you read that way down there. But uh, it is very detailed. The graphics are still very good. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here. I have the game paused. So let's unpause it here. But uh, as you can see, the Tiger is one hell of a tank. It's a beast. There's a burned out T-34 that I just blew up. Um, and there are other tanks that you are with. Um, they're just artificial intelligence and they don't do a whole lot. They will fight and they will destroy some tanks, but they're not very good. So we're going to get moving here and start the engine up. Now you can slow down the engine. You can see in the bottom corner. See it quite well. Down here is your RPMs. This is what gear you're in. Uh, it's in neutral right now. This is your mountain brake. Uh, you use space bar. And then uh, this is the, your speed in kilometers. And this over here at the bottom shows you what position you're in inside the tank. Over here, I'm in the gunner's position, but right now I'm in a screen that I can, or in a view that I can have no matter what position I'm in. And you can see there's also the rounds, different types of ammunition for the main gun, and the machine gun bullets, um, just kind of gives you an idea of where you're at for ammo. Uh, this shows you the direction the turret is in, which if you turn the turret, it'll move with it. And then there's a kind of a view going back. That's the commander's view. I don't know why he has, why he's turned around, but I probably left it um, in a weird direction. Anyways, let's. Uh, you have to rev up the engine a little bit before you put it into gear. Otherwise, you'll kill the engine. And uh, we'll get moving a little faster here. On the other side of this hill, there's a lot of long range targets, T-34s and such, so we'll have to knock them out. But as far as like trajectory, ballistics, all that kind of stuff, this game really kind of really hits the nail on the head. Um, you really have to be good at figuring out distances, um, and depending on what angle, if you're sloped at a certain angle, like on the side of a hill, you really got to figure out how to hit those targets. This is really long range here, but uh, and none of these guys know where I'm at at the moment. But once I start shooting, well, I'll start shooting back. So I'm going to get in. I'm in the gunner's position already, so I'm going to get the sight picture here. What we'll do is bring it down. Uh, we got a T-34 right here. Now you can use the number pad on the side of the keyboard for quick moving of the gun both up and down and then quick moving of the turret but then to fine tune you use the mouse and you can kind of dial it in. Now this guy is going to be probably around 1400 meters if I recall correctly and usually the rounds hit off to the right of the main triangle on the bottom so we're going to try this. We got standard armor piercing rounds in there right now which is the top, top one up here. I got the most ammo in that. We're going to shoot once. I hit, I hit him, now he's shooting back. 
But the thing is, you, you gotta hit him multiple times. Depending on where you hit him, you can knock him out right away. That one just missed him. That one hit the front of him again. Um, sometimes you can knock him out with one hit. Uh, if you hit them like right on the gun, it'll destroy their turret and they're done so they can't use it. Um, which is really nice. You can get one shot hit, one shot kill. Uh, if you hit them in the engine, that'll knock them out right away too. There, now he's smoking, so that's pretty much he's done for. Get this guy right away. Oh, got hit. Now, see, that was a one shot kill right there. I must have hit him right on the, the turret. Disabled his gun. So this guy is moving a little closer. We'll go around 1200, 1200 meters. Got hit again. That's another realistic. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, batteries keep dying in this camera. They're brand new batteries, Railvac, and uh, I don't know what the hell. I must have got like the the uh, the batch they made on you know Friday evening when everybody's trying to get the hell out of there. They just want to you know rush through a bunch. Anyways, I have it paused. I just I paused it right when the tank got hit, so that's why it's vibrating all crazy. Let's unpause it here. All right, well, let's get this guy. Keep getting hit. Now, like I can back up here, but my right tr or my left track is damaged, so it's causing me to go all crazy here. Um, Sometimes it might start working again. Yeah, I just killed the engine. Alright. And that's another thing. It's, you know, when you actually fire the gun, it's got a pretty realistic uh, look to it. The whole tank recoils. When you get hit, it's another thing. Not even hitting anything here. Hold on. If I can see. Now there's a high velocity armor piercing round. We'll go with that one once. No, oh, uh, switch positions here. Hold on. There we go. I knocked him out. So this one will bring it down to probably around couple hundred meters less. Oh, just one more here. You adjust the sights by using the uh, scroll on the mouse. They're doing a lot better than I am today, apparently. Oh, just missed him again. There. You only get eight rounds of this stuff, so this stuff is pretty potent when you actually hit the target. Damn. There, he's done. One shot, one hit. This guy's going down. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to actually switch back to this other stuff that drops faster, because I'm not gonna hit him. I'm gonna shoot way over him if I, uh, use the stuff that I was using. I'm still probably going to go way over him. I can't move the tank because my track is damaged. Both of them are damaged now. There we go. I hit him. Perfect. Once again, it has to do with a lot with uh, learning how the rounds act at different ranges. Um, knowing what you can hit and what you can't and where you have to be in order to hit it and not get hit. Shut the engine off. I should pretty much do him in one more round, probably. No, oh, I missed him. Just shot to the left over there. That did him. Alright. Now there are anti-tank guns hidden out here somewhere. Not exactly sure where. But anyways, we'll uh we'll look at the rest of the tank here. 
I mean, inside the gunner's position, you see the periscope up here. Uh, the main gun is to your right. Um, and if you actually shoot it, the whole thing recoils. You can kind of see the breech block in there move back. Um, when they tank is, when you move, you can see the, the wheels traverse. So it moves around. Um, and that shows you where the turret is at. 12 o'clock is directly in front of you. Basically, everything's right where it should be. Um, let's switch to different positions. You look out a periscope. The sight picture. There's illuminated sight picture. There's one where you can actually uh, let's see here. This is the commander's position. You can see where the gunner is forward of you. Obviously, there's no gunner there. It's like a one-man tank crew, I guess. But uh, you can see everything around you. Your hatch up here, the periscopes, the main gun, once again. Uh, even calling. <laughs> uh, you can call in targets. But uh, let's see here. Where's the driver? Oops. Didn't want to do that. Uh, you can climb out of the the top hatch, which you will see here. Oh, here we go. And the commander's outside. The commander's view, looking around. <laughs> Oops. That. No. There we go. I don't know what that exactly was. Still kind of learning the controls here. I haven't played this game in a long time. I just started playing it again. But uh, once again, it is an awesome game. I'm going to actually self-destruct here, which is kind of weird that you can actually do that on here, but I just self-destructed. So I want to be able to show you what else is going on in the game too, because once your tank is destroyed, you can switch back and forth to view other vehicles in the game. And this is why the AI on this game sucks. I don't know if they're just waiting around. Maybe it's a... Uh, a game where you have to wait until you finally decide to all start moving at the same time or what the deal is, I don't know. But these guys are just chilling here. You can see the smoke above the tree line. That's where my tank is, way ahead of them. And they still gotta go around this down this road here. They decided not to. This guy's just chilling out in the woods. This guy's chilling here. These guys, I don't know what they're doing. T-34, T-34. Another T-34 is destroyed. Uh, these are the anti-tank gunners. You can see the smoke on top of the hill. That's where I was. That was one of the T-34s that I knocked out. There's another one that I blew up with the turret blown off. And these guys are moving in. So they should be doing something eventually. Let's see what they do. It would be cool to be able to control some of these. To be able to, like, once your tank is destroyed, to be able to s switch to another one and actually be able to use that one. Some games allow you to do that kind of stuff. Obviously, this is more realistic where once you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> but it's pretty cool um, that you can actually see what the enemy's doing, what your other tanks are doing. But too bad you can't do that actually when you're still alive instead of having to kill yourself or get killed and to be able to do that. Once again, the graphics on this game are just awesome. The terrain is cool, you can run over trees. Um, but it's just pretty cool. Destroyed buildings. But we'll see what they do here in a minute. Alright, it looks like they're finally entering enemy territory. probably 
come under attack shortly here. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I was talking about with the AI. Most of the time they actually shoot and attack the targets. For some reason on this this particular mission, these guys always just drive down here and never do anything. So they'll, they'll just get destroyed. They don't accomplish anything. Oh, here we go. Finally shooting back. That one's destroyed over there though. Yeah, it's about the time. Another T-34 up in the corner between two buildings up there. That's what he's getting hit by. Right, he got that one, so he's got to move on to the next target there. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> like I said they put they put quite a bit of detail into these tanks. Obviously the. Uh, like the Tiger's interior and exterior of all the vehicles really are really accurate. Um, this guy's still shooting. Oof. Didn't quite make it. Nope. That's what I really want. So then you gotta beat. I'm gonna fight these guys too, these tanks. Most of them are destroyed and then there's mine. So we're gonna switch to the Russian side ones. Alright, now we have the Russians. We got a T-34. There's a, might be a T-34-85 maybe? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it might be a T-34-85. Those might be T-34-76s over there. So I got the bigger one of the two, or the, the two different types. Um, once again, the detail on these tanks is awesome. The lighting, the shading, you know, all the terrain detail. They really, really did awesome on this game. Um, so once again, start the engine up. That gives everybody the signal to get moving. Take the brake off, give her a little bit of gas, shift it into gear. So it turns a lot better than the Tiger, a lot quicker. Um, here we are going to, I guess, intercept a bunch of Germans up ahead. Oh, we're moving. Oh, that's the drivers. I'm just gonna click on the hash there. <laughs> Look inside the T-34. Got the machine gun next to you. All the controls, you know, in there. The gauges up ahead. The sticks. The steering. And so both of them move. I don't need to, whenever you're turning, to break that trap. Uh, I'll switch to the gunner's position. That's where it is, the gunner's. Once again, we got the main gun over here. The breach. It's up here. Periscope, or telescope, optics, whatever you want to call them. Um, everything moves. I like should. Let's see what we're doing here. We only have 
30 rounds of armor piercing in this tank. Shifted up in gear too far. Now we got machine gun bullets coming somewhere. Here we're in the Russian T-34-85, about to knock out this German tank. A good shot at the engine, and one shot will knock the tank out. Unfortunately, this is not going to be the case with this one, it looks like. Ah, oh, there we go. It's smoking now, so it should be should be toast. Yep, she blew up. Let's get this one here. A little too fast on the uh, turret adjustments. Let's try to put it in about there. Ah, I should have done that one in. some hidden somewhere else because those are hidden behind buildings. Might be a tiger lurking around here somewhere. There's a anti-tank gun here. We will change to armor piercing. Oh yeah, not armor piercing. We'll change to high explosive. You just tend to drop a little faster. Or not. I don't know where the hell that one went. Must have blew up back in the tree somewhere. So if that's an anti tank gun. There's some tracers down there. There you go, that hit him. Let's try to destroy this one here. Alright, well, since I seem to like keep having these battery issues, I don't know what it is. I got these batteries and they keep dying. They're brand new in the package but they might have been sitting at the store for who knows how long, so I don't know. I just want to wrap this up. T-34 vs. Tiger, World War II battle tanks. You can find it online at some places. You'd have to do a search on Amazon or something. I don't remember when I bought this. It was years and years ago, um, but I did a search for it. I saw it on, I think on YouTube, actually. I saw a video of it. Um, instantly sold me on the game. And uh, like I said, anybody who enjoys realistic tank simulators, um, I don't know about the newest, that new game out there, um, but uh, I think anybody who enjoys simulators in general and likes tanks would enjoy this game. It is realistic, probably one of the best tank simulators you could buy out there, period. Um, it might be for a long time before they actually make one that's more realistic. It, 